this just in. We're receiving reports that a new fad is taking the nation by storm. Its name, shorts. But it appears as if this breakthrough in jean short splicing technology is causing irregular weather patterns all across the globe. Hey! It's the warmer season, so I can't wear jeans. I really like the denim, but not the length of the seam. My mom dresses cash, and my dad likes to preen. I'm not like either of them. I got the recessive jean. Welcome to the Black Sea. Previously known for its pink ocean waters. An ever-constant spring climate with golden hues throughout the sky. The atmosphere of its current state is chilling. The air feels thinner, almost non-existent, making it harder to breathe. No breeze to move the sea. No gusts to sail the ship. Dark clouds move across the sky that consume most of the light of the sun, desaturating the colors you perceive around you. As you arrived, all of you, in the same instance, felt a deep pit open up in your abdomen for your stomach to sink into, with the thought, this might have been a mistake. A ship climbs the crow's nest, looks through Jay's spyglass to see bits of branches from a tree below the horizon line. You heard a low rumbling as a horde of black insects swarmed the main deck of the ship, followed by repulsive creatures climbing on board from each side of the ship and the front. Slightly humanoid in shape, but covered in these black tendrils and ligaments that pilot the vessels like corpse puppets. You heard one of them shout in a guttural tongue before chaos ensues. And so the journey continues. Let's roll initiative, boys. <laughs> 12. 12. 5. We're all, we're all frozen in for you. <laughs> You're gonna kill us all. I, 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 I think about how I should have interacted with Julian and it <laughs> locks me up. <laughs> Wait, that was that was a Julian back there. <laughs> Quivering in my boots. Oh, why'd I have to fall down the stairs for a bit? <laughs> why did I have to do it? How's your how's your health after that stairs? I fall? mean, just like that that little sp speech chip gave and it's just it's so gone. Before we begin, I just need you guys to lock in your starting positions on the ship. I already know Chip is in the crow's nest. So Jay and Gillian, where would you like to be oriented? 
Um, I think I would have been oriented towards the front of the main deck. More towards starboard side. I hate to say it, but I did think I, I think I said that I got on the front of the ship to like give us a sort of full speed ahead kind of thing. So I, I'll, I'll commit to that. I'm, I would be on the front okay. of the ship. I, I would have been front just to get a better view. So the forecastle, I guess. Gillian really thought a cutscene was about to start where they sail into the distance and then <laughs> <laughs> uh, like 20 monsters popped up behind them. So top of the round. Chip, you peer over the side of the crow's nest and you see climbing on board on the left side of the ship on the main deck is this hulking mass of black ichor that slams one of its sharp, almost like bone-like claws that slip through the black ink onto the ship. And its its form, its size, as it slowly brings itself on as it goes... It looks the size of a goliath, if not larger. And it looks up almost as if it senses your presence above uh, as Griffin and the rest of your crew tries to jump into action. It, almost like they've missed a beat, it jumps up and lunges towards you uh, uh, with this unwarranted speed for its size and is going to go for an attack, almost as if its arm shapes up into this giant greatsword made out of that black ichor. So, okay. first one, that's only a 10 to hit. Does not hit. So it slams right next to you and embeds itself onto the crow's nest like frame and it's stuck there and it takes its other arm and it's going to try and stab right through you. Okay. So that is that is a that is a 26 to hit. That'll hit. Now it's going to turn its legs and just lean the great swords. You take 10 points of slashing damage with with this as it sort of just swipes across your chest and causes a wound to open up and start gushing. I am going to use uncanny dodge in my reaction sure. to half this damage. That's your, all right, so that's your reaction for the round. Don't forget yes, it. Is. Next up, where the two of you are standing, this creature begins to lumber up. It's the last one to make an appearance on the top of the ship as first you see this sort of almost like slimy tentacle-like uh, uh, appendage wrap around what's left of the front of your ship as it's been damaged and it begins to just slowly make its way up and as it does one of these heads that almost seems uh, humanoid in, a, in, a, in the shape of a, a tabaxi skull but then it starts getting covered by that black ooze and then another one pops up and then another head pops up on the right and it slowly lumbers toward you and goes and then goes and then goes and this loud screech billows out and the area fills with darkness. <laughs> Jay, are you getting any of this? So 60 feet or a 15 foot sphere around your point. Oh, uh, shit. At the front of the uh, ship fills with darkness. Okay. Magical darkness, right? Magical darkness. Fuck. <laughs> the two of you only hear more of the commotion. But as these black beetles swarm around the ship, the last creature that seems to be occupied with Queen and, 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 and Griffin. I guess you guys can't see it, so there's no reason to describe it, but there is a commotion, and you know that there is another one of these beasts on the ship. Okay, so they're, all, they're not all, like, lumbering colossi, right? They're, like, different they have, shapes. They look like forms. they have different forms. Okay. All kind of surrounded, like I said in the, the intro with this... Uh, the, these black tendrils, ligaments, and just that black ichor that ooze around their 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 corpses. So we've got a giant colossi. Right now, for you, everything is pitch black. Darkness just took hold of this area. You see nothing. For my action, I'm going to instantly uh, pop my fly and and try to get out of this this darkness circle. I'm gonna I'm gonna say to Gillian, um, I'm gonna go help some the others. Where? <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I, I back on the other side of the ship, Chip is in the crow's nest. I mean, you saw the giant fucking guy. Okay, thank you. Make sure to shout out where they are. My object permanency is lacking. Yeah, and then this way, if you swing your sword around blindly trying to hit this guy, you won't hit me. So okay, yeah. sounds good, Jay. You got this. Okay. Can I can I make it out of uh out of this sphere of darkness? Sure. If you run backwards, I would. It'll take that. half your movement. So where? What's your goal? What are you doing? I just want to get out of the darkness and kind of assess the situation um, and see who needs the most help, basically. What you notice is that Chip is being attacked by a, 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 a Goliath monstrosity 
and there is a third that has made its way onto your ship that you can see now, mm. which, looking at it from here, it's definitely humanoid in shape. It's reminiscent of what used to be some sort of humanoid race. You can see sort of slipping through the clacks of this black ooze that drips off of it, but now it's been twisted. It's repulsive. It looks like the ligaments are detached and severed, but still being held on by these black tendrils. And it, like, slowly, as it's sort of defending itself from Griffin, looks over towards you, and its head cracks to the left with this loud pop as it makes another... I'm just gonna make my way up, up to Chip and, and uh, probably just be like, Hey, you should fight the one in the shadows. We gotta take this seriously. These things are gonna kill us. You have 15 feet of movement left. You can't get all the way up to the crow's nest okay. to, to talk can to Chip, but you can, try and sh you can try and shout it out. Yeah. Chip! Yeah? <laughs> Let me take the big one! Help Gillian in the darkness! <laughs> gotcha! Cool. <laughs> I have plans. That's my turn, though. I'm gonna actually Hunter's Mark the big guy, and that's my turn. So, I'm going to use my bonus action to ignite my sword's hot mode, and I am going to attack the one in front of me. Even though you said to attack the other one, I need to attack this one so that I can use my fancy footwork and get away. Um... Um, I'm just gonna give it a big old stab. That's a 24 to hit. A 24 hits, please roll your damage. Okay, that is going to be 26 damage. As you cleave into it and do 26 damage, it it, it takes the, the, almost like your, your sword gets wrapped around by that, these like black tendrils that move like they have a mind of their own to sort of like wrap around it. And it looks at you as if it's felt pain and it goes <laughs> and it takes its reaction and immediately strikes right back at you with this fury that you feel into your chest. So that's 18 to hit. 18 is gonna hit, yeah. So you take 12 points of slashing damage. And I want to use my movement to get over to the other one. I'll say actually, if you roll me an acrobatics check, you can make it over there faster with your entire movement. Okay. That is a 12. <laughs> Why don't I just hear two, like, sticks breaking? I say you won't take any damage from slipping, but you won't make it into the darkness. Okay. You'll make it right up to the to the start of where it begins, like, almost at the top of the stairs leading up to the, the quarter deck, the, the gun deck. So you said that it was, like, tendrils going up to the crow's nest? It's, 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 a, it's like a large creature. It's, like, as big as Arlen would be weird choice of comparison. <laughs> I keep describing it as, as Goliath-like, but there aren't any giant, like, tendrils or tentacles around or anything like that. These, I, these creatures. If I make it over to the edge of that darkness, um, the flames do, from my sword, have a bright light in a 40-foot radius and a dim light in an additional 40 feet. Oh, fuck, that's huge! I don't know if that cuts through the magical darkness all the way. <laughs> you're, you're, you're chilling, you're chilling. With the amount of light it sheds, as long as you are within range of the uh, magical darkness, it, it should dispel it. Awesome. Chip! Hey, man! Everyone disappeared, but now you're back! Hot mode. <laughs> <laughs> Hot mode. If that ends your turn, Jay, uh, I actually forgot that you said you are flying, so technically you could have made it to Chip. So I just no. want to ask, are you all the way up in the air next to the crow's nest still? With the giant monster, the giant Goliath monster? Um, I'd probably be like, I wouldn't be like so, so close that he could just reach and attack me, right? But I'd be just out of range. 10 feet, I'd, I'm going to say 10 feet away from where Chip would have been. Okay, so in that case, all of these, this swarm of these black insects are crawling around the ship and you watch as they sort of split off and make their way towards where Chip and Gillian are and they begin to crawl up both of your legs oh. and you feel their tiny little almost like small needles piercing into your skin as they all crawl up and it's Chip turn the lights off again <laughs> I don't want to see this I didn't even I didn't even parse that the bugs were going to be enemies as well <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't either. I thought they were. I thought they were flavor, and now they're on me. They're on me. Oh God. Okay, so for Gillian, that is a twenty-four to hit. Rolled really high on that one. Uh, I'll. You know what? I'll do a. I, I haven't had my turn yet. I'll do a quirky little shield spell. I'll do a quirky little shield spell. Um, okay. I, I, I flash back to the bugs in like episode three and just start going into a bloodlust. Gillian, I trained <laughs> you for this moment. 
I you know what to do. Raid. I just start turning into a tornado, <laughs> just throwing bugs. I'm just eating bugs. Protein, the way of the future. Does that last for the rest of the round once you're AC now? Uh, my AC is now 27. Okay, so none of their 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 small little teeth make it into your skin or pierce you, so you're all good there. Chip, however, oh my god, 24 to hit. That hits. Well, because they split off, they do a little less damage. Oh, yay. I love less damage. Okay, you take only three p points of piercing damage, and I need you to make an intelligence saving throw. Chip, think math. Think about math. I got a 12. <laughs> Chip, Chip, just stand five feet closer to me, please. Please, Chip. <laughs> As these beetles begin to overcome your legs and they pierce into your body, it seems like, like they're injecting something into your bloodstream and it goes straight to your psyche as you feel these uh, almost like clouding visions begin to take over and your head begins to throb and you blink a few times and Gillian behind behind you if you're looking at Chib you can see that his eyes begin to leak this black ichor and then they turn fully black and he looks oh. up at you and Chip everyone on this ship now become your enemies great great good 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 great good 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 great 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 good stuff good stuff yes very good very good we love to we absolutely love to see that yes excellent excellent Next uh, up, however, and Gillian, you don't know this is happening. You just see something happen to Chip. But you're also in the range, the melee range of another creature. Okay. Uh, so it is your you, turn. You good? You good, man? Yeah, yeah. I'm good. <laughs> so it's me. I got bugs on me. He got bugs on him. Anyone yep. else around us? There's that uh, Tabaxi skull. How, how, how close is uh, is Mr. Tabaxi? It's uh, within range of you, for sure. Shit. Like, okay. like about five feet. All right. Uh, okay, so I'm not going to run over. Uh, okay, here's what I'm going to do. Quicken spell, uh, cast protection from evil and good on myself. And I'm going to say, I don't want none of that gunk. Uh, <laughs> you see as for a second, the colorless world around, like there's this watery aura around Gillian as color restores to him. And I'm going to hold a hand out um, and helping hands chip with this spell as well. Um, so what this is going to do is... Uh, it protects against aberrations, celestials, elementals, face fiend, undead. Um, creatures of those type have disadvantage on attack rolls against us. The target also can't be charmed, frightened, or possessed by them. If they're already charmed, frightened, or possessed, they have advantage on any new saving throws against the relevant effect. Um, so I do that. We both get that effect. We both start to glimmer. Glimmer, we look sexy. Um, I, I quicken spell, so I immediately activate my Luxbris Pearl Shard. Water bursts out from me in a 10-foot radius. Um, the bugs, uh, and the tabaxi creature, uh, all need to make a strength saving throw or be pushed 10 feet away and fall prone. Yep. The insects, uh, fail for 10 feet back. Uh, they're, they're knocked prone and they take three cold damage. Now you catman. That is 15. Oh. Ooh, just fell. So you needed a 16. Okay, um, then they get so knocked back, take three cold damage? They get knocked back, take seven cold damage. Yep. I'm gonna run up in that case to the tabaxi, uh, uh, ready a golf-like swing, <laughs> just fucking cleave into him twice with two attacks. Um, he's prone, so I get advantage. Uh, that's a natural 20. I'm gonna crit on that, uh, which means I'm going to smite at a, uh, fourth level. Oh my fucking god! <laughs> Holy shit, ass! Um, D and so D, baby! We're playing we Dungeons do this and Dragons. more often. I know, right? Um, he is going to take 12 radiant damage. Uh, or sorry, 12 d8s of radiant damage. <laughs> he takes 65 radiant damage, um, plus an additional uh, 12. So he takes a total of uh, 72 damage. Um, and then I take my second attack. I rolled another natural 20! What? Holy fucking shit! <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god! Oh my god! What the- Holy shit! Holy fucking shit! I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna do it again. It's your motherfucking destiny! Dude, this never happens. This never happens. This never happens to Charlie. This never happens to Charlie. Charlie never gets You these. don't send bugs after my buds! You don't send fucking <laughs> bugs after my buds! Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two. I get the extra two D eight because it's un fucking whatever. I'm gonna send it. I bam. I ba boom. I ba boom. That is gonna be fifty nine plus another uh, twelve. So it's gonna take what is seventy three plus um 
has a total of 144 damage. <laughs> He's so nasty. <laughs> Sick with it. Holy fuck. That's the na that's actually the nastiest thing I've ever done on this podcast. Like for sure, right? Oh two my natural god. Natural 20s on one turn after you cast <laughs> two spells. <laughs> oh my god. What yeah. The fuck? So yeah, I mean with with two attacks and 144 damage, looks like you've scratched the monster a little. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I I uh, okay, I uh, I uh, I press escape and I disconnect from the server. Combat log. Combat log. <laughs> and I go on adventurersleague.com and I make a new character. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you cleave into it twice, and as you do, you feel the glow or the hum of Destiny's Blade. Uh, almost as if you can feel uh, the the sentience inside of it, the soul's excitement as it slashes through yes. this, this creature. And it leaves almost like two streaks of light within it before it begins to expand. And then it explodes as this creature just gets eviscerated Holy into a ball shit. of light and ice oh. as it just sort of scatters across oh my god the, the, and the I just front want of the ship the trails of this exploding creature i want them to almost leave like trails of fucking color in this dark world before like fading away just so fucking <laughs> cool um and i look over at chip chip did you see that wow that was cool as you say chip did you see that yeah and the black ichor that sort of that was covering this corpse falls onto the deck and almost sizzles like acid. Yeah. Your vision gets pulled back into your subconscious as if you're experiencing a uh, 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 a memory. Your POV switches in an oh. instant as soon what, as you slay sec. this creature, this foe, <laughs> and you're somebody else. Your hands are tabaxi like oh, claws. Shit. The interior around you seems to be some sort of pyramid shape. In front of you, in front of a throne of stone, surrounded by sort of like moss and vines, up a few steps also covered in different lush vegetation, sort of crawls all around this environment, okay. is another tabaxi. They're back facing you. And they seem to be wearing robes of great importance, like royalty. And in your, you feel frustration. Mm. And they say, they turn around and they say, promise me you won't go little brother. The corruption has made it to our island. I, I need you here to lead our people against the canine. I, I, I can't do this alone. And you feel yourself. You feel. I gotta do it, big bro. Is that, is this, I didn't know if you want me to be. A, to, to, <laughs> Not exactly. <laughs> because this, even though you're experiencing it as this is really you, this memory has already happened. Okay. And you retort back. I am not going to ignore our duty. The tree is dying. You may be scared oh, of the shit. Black Sea, but I'm not. And I will not forsake the ones that came before us. The back in front of you speaks back. What's more important are the ones that are here now. And in this bout of frustration you just sort of stand up i'm going and then you rush off and your vision gets immediately pulled back <laughs> meow <laughs> <laughs> hey just just a heads up chip and jay if you kill them they will give you flashbacks and trauma it's gonna be a little jarring oh that sucks, sucks. oh i don't need more of that after you experience the memory the last one that they had or at least the last one they thought of. You feel their desire passed on to you. Oh, fuck. And in it, you feel, save it. Um, I am gonna use my, my movement at the, at the end of my turn to go back over to, uh, 
uh, to chip just to get within 10 feet of him again um, so that he's in, in my aura. And then I'm going to shout up at, at, at Jay and say, Jay, after this, I, I learned something about the tree. Okay, we can talk about it later. Okay, so I just wanted to let you Let's know. Let's survive this first. How about All right, you got this. <laughs> yeah. yeah, speaking of, the giant Goliath fiend sees you off in the air and uses its bonus action to lunge towards you uh in midair and it's just gonna go it like leaps off the crow's nest so as soon as it's done attacking you it will fall onto the main deck of the ship and it's gonna go for uh its first attack against you jay you guys got this jay does does chip seem weird <laughs> to you just feel like that that mysterious darkness in him is just a little louder today that's a 23 hit so you take uh, 14 points of slashing damage as it spins around and right before it, it sort of almost uses the momentum of that slash across you, spins around to it so that its back is facing the main deck and then its arm swings up to hit you one final time before plummeting onto it. Okay. Uh, but because it is falling, it fucking misses. I, uh, I would like, first one would like probably like hit me right in the arm and the second one I'd probably like raise off with my wing, like, to kind of parry it. Yeah, it's feral. It goes... <laughs> as it jumps towards you and then falls, <laughs> splinters a bit of the ship, almost lands on the railing of the gun deck, completely destroying half of it. Yeah, and as I'm probably, like, following it down at this point, just, uh, a little bit. Yeah, I don't know. Are, are his eyes always that dark and lifeless? Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it seems like maybe there's an infection or something, though. They don't usually ooze that much. Ooze? <laughs> yeah, okay, there's okay, a little cool. ooze going on. As you see the the one that is the Goliath in size lunge towards you and then fall, your eyes follow it and you see that some of your crew have been swarmed by insects and have stopped moving. And you also see that other creature who looks the most humanoid shaped and underneath the the ooze, you can see some of its skeleton, but you also see remnants of sailor's clothing. And it begins to... Well, first, it almost seems to melt down into a puddle of this ooze as it spreads to the cracks of the ship. And that slowly moves past all your crew, up the steps, past ship even. And then it appears right behind Gillian. Hey guys, do you see where it went? <laughs> and it just gently puts its hand on your armor. <laughs> and your armor begins to glow this red hot. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. And you hear it whispering in your ear. So. Something smells really good. It's me! <laughs> oh no! Go ahead and make a con save. You take the damage. I got a natural t What the fuck? I got a natural 20! You take 13 points of fire damage, but you do not feel the need to take off your armor. Okay. 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 Oh god. Oh god. Oh However, god. Oh god. because your armor is still oh, 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 on you oh, oh, and oh. hot, yeah, yeah, I'm like fucking like moving around. You start actually. You're not. You're not moist by just like your natural water expenditure. You're just, like, sweating now. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> Gotta sweat faster. Have, counteract, counteract more sweat. More sweat. Because you don't drop it, you have disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks until the start of your next turn. As long as you're in contact with this. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'm taking my armor off. <laughs> I don't think I got enough time to do that. So wait, how are the, are the bugs like a swarm or are they like one creature or like five creatures or? It is, it is a swarm, almost like a blanket of insects that is just covering the entire ship. A bit of the swarm split off and started to, uh, sw you know, cover the legs of Chip and Gillian. Some of them got blown back and, 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 and took cold damage as well when Gillian did his thing. But the ones that are on chip have attached to him, and there are some that have attached to members of your crew. We'll say for this instance, there are two swarms split up. So you have four enemies, technically, that you can hit. But they are on... I said Griffin, and I say... Did I say anyone uh, else? Queen. Griffin and Queen? Yeah, Griffin and Queen are the only ones I heard. We'll say everybody was on the deck, and anyone who doesn't feel like they can aid in this sort of thing has made their way into the crew's 
Where is, where is Earl? He His feet would do really good for stepping on these bugs, I'm gonna be honest. Earl, I need them feet to be stepping on these bugs right now. <laughs> Every time combat happens, Earl goes, Oh, my, oh, oh, don't let these bugs get in my goddamn pantry! <laughs> what I'm going to do with my turn is I'm gonna fly down. We have cannons now, that means we have cannonballs. The perfect blunt object to catapult at my enemies. Um, <laughs> oh, that's so sick. I'm gonna fly down to to one of them. Actually, no, I'm gonna flavor it like this. I'm gonna get relatively close because it's got a range of 60 feet. I'm gonna pull a grappling gun and basically swing it around and fucking launch it with a like grapple a fucking cannonball and launch it towards the bugs. Whoa! Uh, and see if that helps them. Which one? Uh, the ones towards the crew right now. Chips oh, got yeah. us. Yeah. All right. You have one attack. So pick 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 which crew member, Griffin or Queen. I thought there was like a swarm on the ground. I have to attack one of the crew members. It's a swarm, but they've split off. So technically they have half AC and half health, but they are able to attack two different people. Griffin's squishy. I'm sure, <laughs> I'm sure it'll bounce right off. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shoot the two the two groups. Uh, one on Griffin, one on Queen. That's going to be a 26 to hit for the first one on Griffin. Second one's going to be a natural 20. <laughs> God damn, we're going crazy! What the fuck? Uh, the first one is... Or the one on Queen, because this is crit, it's 24 damage. Ooh, oh, pop off Jake! Oh, oh, and the second one is 8 damage on Griffin. You fire off shots at Queen, bing, bang, bing, bang, and it completely drops all of the insects that were surrounding them, and their eyes go from that black slara to normal, but you notice that all of the bullet holes pass through the insects into Queen. And <laughs> they just sort of cough up a little bit of blood and go, la, 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 la. Apologies. Uh, and then you look and you see that you have done some damage to the swarm on Griffin, but he looks at you <sighs> and he's angry. Gillian, it's the bugs! What's the, what? 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 What's the bugs? They're causing the causing the ooze, Gillian. The the bugs are causing the ooze. Yeah. What's causing the hot day? What's causing the fucking hot? The, the, the guy behind you. I gotta get rid of the hot. All right, chip, 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 hit this guy. All right, I'm gonna roll d4, and then one to two is Gillian, three to four is other guy. I got a four. Yes! Yes! Yeah! Yes! Yes! yes, yes. Fuck yeah! This could go so wrong in so many ways, and we are somehow scraping by. And this doesn't change anything about how I can attack and how I can maneuver in combat, right? This just changes who I see as an ally and enemy. Yeah, it actually says that you don't you don't make the save at the end of your turns. You make the saves when you take damage. So on a failed save, the target loses the ability to, to distinguish friend from foe. Regarding all creatures, it can see as an enemy until the spell ends. So yeah, there you go. You attack the dude. Uh, the, we'll call it the Sailor. Okay, the Sailor. I will attack the Sailor. First one is a 22 to hit. That hits. The second one right. is a 22 to hit. 57 damage. So Chip's attacking a creature within five feet other than me. Uh, I see that he's oozing, and I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just gonna say, Dude! And I just slap him in the face <laughs> with uh, with with the sentinel with the sentinel feet because I can use my reaction to uh, make an attack against the attacking creature. Um, so I'm gonna try and snap him out of it. The first time I've ever used it is to slap the shit out of Chip. <laughs> nice, nice Chip, nice Chip, up top. You I, I hit, slap hit him me in the, in the face. face. Hit him into the face with a fly flaming glove. As you cleave into this creature, you notice. I guess you don't notice anything. Well, you would notice. It's, you just don't can't distinguish enemies from from friends. Uh, you notice that it appears your flame is not doing as much damage as it normally would to this one specifically i turn around <laughs> correct me if i'm i'm wrong because i'm not entirely sure how it works but this is the one that made him his armor hot mode right does attacking him break his concentration on that Ooh, that's a good fucking point he's got a real concentration doesn't he if it's heat metal then yes it is concentration yeah Okay, I don't think he. I don't think it's possible to pass a DC 28 anyone. So if I get slapped, how much damage do I take from Gillian? I rolled a 20 to hit you. Does that hit? That'll hit. Yep. Um, I'm just gonna fucking punch you with my hot fist. Uh, hot just fist. do five five damage and, and make you roll another save. Five damage. Okay. Do I get the advantage um, on the save? Yeah. All right. I only got a 14. Okay, so you're still under the effects, yep. at least for now. But I would like to use my movement to move out of range of this guy, and if I can, move behind cover. 
I just want to move out of range of this. I also don't want to move into range of anything else. Let's say there's, you can like find like a small crate to sort of get some cover because there's not much at the very top of the ship unless you run down the steps and like take over from something else, but you'll, you'd be leaving Gillian's range. Where do you want to stay? And we'll just decide that. Um, I'd like to stay up here if I can, but if there, if there's nowhere up here that kind of meets that criteria, I'll move down. And then Gillian. I start charging up. No one hit me. I'm charging up. Um, the swarm that you blew off of you, it just got knocked 10 feet. They all sort of regather, deciding whether or not they're going to recombine with the ones already on ship and make it much harder for him, or if they're going to go after you again. I think they're going to rejoin all of the other insects on ship and just sort of crawl up the uh, the lower half of his body. Oh. Um, um, Chip, so, Chip, you, sh you should be more bothered. Chip, <laughs> this bug, you got bugs? <laughs> uh, Chip, you're all blug bugs. you bugs from the dick down, man. It's all bugs down there. Can't be good, man. <laughs> Definitely isn't good. Jay, where did you say you were? I would still be in the air. I would have moved a little bit closer to uh, where Griffin and Queen are uh, to take that shot on them, but... Otherwise, I'm still, like, probably 20 feet up. Just a little bit more towards where Griffin and Queen were. Which I'm assuming is the back of the ship. Yeah, alright. I'll say you can be, like, opposite side of where Chip and Gillian are and be, like, sort of behind Griffin's line of fire as he begins to lumber towards where Chip and Gillian are and basically the bulk of all the enemies on the... On the ship, this is where the most of them are, the including the sailor, and everyone needs to make a deck save. Oh fuck! Does he look gunked? He looks gunked, and he oh, goes. Oh no! Get off this ship, <laughs> dude! I live here. I live here, bro. And basically fires off this extremely large, uh, uh, almost like sort of like a like a cannon bullet of flame. Oh, now he's using that. <laughs> uh, Another one of his special ammunition. So go ahead and, and take a, a deck save, all of you. I just rolled for uh, the sale. I rolled 16. I got an 11. Uh, I got an 11 too. We're gonna die by our crew and nobody else. You said Jay was in the air, right? So I don't think she gets yeah. hit by this. Oh, thank God. Okay, cool. Oh, please. <laughs> please. Gillian, you are already under an immense amount of heat with the oven that is your armor. Yeah. But you take another, uh, both of you take 40 points of fire damage. Did 16 not pass? Oh, fuck. 40 points? Griffin, what the fuck, man? My evasion has it to 20, and I get to make another intelligence saving throw, I believe. Yeah, you have the plus four from Gillian, unless you move down there for a couple. Oh, my God. I didn't move down. Um, plus, with the plus four, that puts me at a 25. The uh, insectoids release their, their, their sort of parasite-like latch on you and your vision clears up. But a little bit, you can kind of feel a little bit of that, that ink sort of running down your face. Question, would that also hit the swarms that were nearby Gillian and Chip? Yeah, it did. I, 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 rolled, okay. I rolled for them. Can I tell? Does it seem like they're okay with fire as well? They seem all right. There's mm. less of them Great. right now, but Great. they seem all right. Great, cool. Yeah, let's all be cool about that. It's just a fucking giant torrent of flame. It's cool. I didn't even feel it. Additionally, what you notice is that the, let's call it the sailor demon. Okay. Uh, after the fire clears from the giant blast, it has disappeared from sight. Does he look familiar in any way? It's really hard because of the contorted features and proportions like i said it it looked human but extremely wrong and you could see some parts of a uh, humanoid skeleton and sailor clothing behind this black ooze but it's not recognizable at all anything okay. on the clothing that could be slightly indicative of a of a captain you can roll an investigation for free when your vision clears up. Okay. 17. Okay, it's not much higher than your passive investigation. It's it's really hard to tell. Okay. So, can't make it out if it's a captain or a pirate or anything like that. Just the sailor. Um, the sailor's gone. From sight, as soon as you got, got, I got hit with the blast that Griffin shot from his arm. Um, can I do a quirky 
quirky free perception check or, or anything? Go kind on. of look around, see where this guy went. Griffin, watch where you're shooting! Oh, he's gunked. Yeah, I'm gonna do perception. That's a three. <laughs> um, okay. All right. I see goo. Oh, everything's goo! Uh, in that case, I am going to use my action to take a deep, deep <laughs> whiff. A deep whiff of the environment around me, and I can sense uh, the location of any celestial fiend or undead within 60 feet, not behind total cover, to try and find where this guy is. Okay. You smell up fiendish natures. It is overwhelmed. Oh! The smell. Oh! You feel. Shit. It is coming from all directions. Oh, It is stanky. coming from oh, the ocean around the boat. It is coming from the beetles. It is coming from your ship. Yeah. Um, I'm kind of unsure if you can pinpoint it with that, but... I just It just says I, I know the location. Of, yeah, you, yeah, you know the location. Okay, so, I mean, they're everywhere. Like, it feels like it's all around you. That's what I'm trying to uh, say. But what you notice is that there is... Like I said before, that black ooze-like substance moving through the cracks of the main deck and down the steps and, and, and the like. Almost like it has melted and then moved through um, the cracks. Okay, that's that's sort of helpful. In the sense that he's moving and it's a very similar, um, very similar in ability to chips like fancy footwork in a way. Is it possible to stab? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would say not at the moment, not until it's reformed. You can try stabbing the ground. I just don't know if it'll 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 do what you're looking for. No, that's 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 all good. Um, I am going to walk over to the giant monstrosity, um, and say hi, <laughs> and then pull out <laughs> my sword and um, a uh, 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 quick and spell uh, glacial blade. Um, this boy, that is going to be an 18 to hit. That hits. It's gonna do 23 damage. I'm just gonna give him a very quirky, very, very quirky first level smite. So that'll make it 38 total damage. Um, and since I quicken spell, he also needs to make a strength saving throw. Natural 20. Whoa! <laughs> Sorry. Uh, it does not blow him back, but it does All water. Right. He's, out. he's okay, he's okay. Um, he's got just it. he's got just it. gonna take uh, 10 cold damage, but he doesn't go anywhere. Okay, I, I kind of kind of hope that would blast you away. So now I'm just here. Uh, yeah, I feel you, man. Um, my que <laughs> my question is, if Griffin were to hypothetically let out another goddamn blast like that, am I currently in the in the? Would I be hit by it? Uh, you haven't moved much further yeah. from the gun deck where you were, so you're still in his line of sight. He is about mid deck. Okay. Next in, to the main mass. In that case, I'm gonna try and get out of his uh, get out of his sight line. Um, uh, you take the opportunity attack somehow. At the yeah, moment? yeah, I would. I would take it. Um, okay. I'm just gonna try and, and get basically behind something so that he's you know not 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 seeing me just behind cover in some way. That'd be good. Um, and then I'm gonna keep shouting out where that where that gunky gunky is. He's in the boat. He's going under. He's going up. Whoa! He's going around. All right. He's crazy. He's a kid now. He's a squid now. Holy shit! He's a captain now. Okay, that is a 22 to hit. Um, he does Wait. have disadvantage. <laughs> On because of what? Uh, protection from good and evil. Okay, so it doesn't hit. Then I'm just gonna get behind that cover, and that is going to end my turn. This episode was sponsored by Babbel. Raise your hand if you had to take some sort of language class in high school or college. I can't see you, but thanks. I took Spanish for probably two to three years. Baño, ojos, juevo. That's all I've got. So it was not a high point for me, and it probably wasn't one for you. But now, thanks to Babbel, the language learning app that sold more than 10 million subscriptions, there's an addictively fun and easy way to learn a new language. Whether you'll be traveling abroad, connecting in a deeper way with family, or you just got some free time, Babbel teaches bite-sized language lessons that you'll actually use in the real world. I picked Spanish because some of my family speak Spanish really, really well, and I don't know what they're saying, and it's probably about how I cannot speak it. I've also met a lot of Spanish-speaking people recently who I really want to be able to talk to. Well, I'm gonna be able to, because Babbel's 15-minute lessons make it the perfect way to learn a new language on the go, wherever. Its expertly crafted lessons are built around real life. You learn about travel, relationships, business, all sorts of stuff that'll actually come up in conversation. 
These Babel lessons were created by over a hundred language experts, and their teaching method is scientifically proven to be effective. So pick from 14 different languages, including Spanish, French, Italian, and German. If that wasn't enough, Babel's speech recognition technology helps you improve your pronunciation and accent. There's so many ways to learn with Babel. You don't just have lessons, you've got podcasts, games, videos, stories, and even live classes. Plus, it comes with a 20-day money-back guarantee. So, start your new language learning journey today with Babbel. Right now, when you purchase a three-month Babbel subscription, you'll get an additional three months for free. That's six months for the price of three. Go to babbel.com and use promo code JRWI to support the show and start your language learning journey. That's B-A-B-B-E-L dot com code J-R-W-Y. This episode of Just Roll With It is sponsored by MeUndies. Do you want to know my secret? Do you want to know what I did? No, no you don't because everyone's got interesting parts of ourselves that not everyone gets to see. Kind of like what you keep in your underwear drawer. You want to be comfortable underneath it all. And they know comfort. They've got undies, socks, even onesies and dog hoodies. And I really like this part. Right now, they have a new sustainably sourced swimwear collection, partially made from recycled nylon fabrics and water bottles. Before me undies, I was chafed. But now, I'm just chuffed. I do a lot of weird stuff for content, and some of the things you don't see are when the underwear rides up or, or, or gets in there or starts rubbing around or irritates or whatever, but I haven't had any of those problems with me undies. They look great, they're super comfortable, and not just that, if you get a MeUndies membership, you can choose a new pair of undies, socks, or bralette every month and grow your collection. You'll also get to save up to 30% on all the MeUndies snuggly softness you can handle. That's in the read. Okay. Plus, you'll even get early access to special deals and new products. To get 25% off your first order, plus free standard shipping, and to support our show, Visit MeUndies.com slash JRWI. Remember, if you're not satisfied, your purchase is on MeUndies. That's 25% off your first order at MeUndies.com slash JRWI. Enjoy the rest of the episode. And don't forget to click the link under. And now you're thinking, underwear. All right, top of the round, the giant, uh, orcish demonic creature lumbers up after being attacked uh, or, or covered in a sheet of ice. The ice is starting to get covered by the the the, the black ichor and, and ligaments that, that surround this 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 body, this vessel. And it sort of like puts its, its head up as if it's trying to sense something. And then it leaps up onto the gun deck and goes for a slam onto you chip. So go ahead and roll that 1d8 uh, glacial blade damage. Yeah, he it's uh it's 3d8. He takes 14 cold damage. Okay. Uh, as the as the ice kind of shatters and breaks around him. Um and I say now he definitely won't Oh, there he goes. Does it matter that I went behind cover last time or So the most cover that you could get right now would be a, an additional to your AC to be 17. If you're behind like a crate or something. I'm just letting you know that's what cover okay. would be for. Okay. But he rolls an 18 to hit. Oh, he has he has disadvantage because Chip has protection from good and evil. Yes, sir. All right, I, I rolled again. He still rolls an eight, 18. Okay, I don't got you. I, I got you, but I don't. Well, you don't got, got me, you. but it just didn't get me. <laughs> I don't. I don't always sense. got you. Like I tried to get you, but like I don't. I, right now, I don't got you. This is its massive, almost like blade-like appendage that slams down. So you take uh, 15 points of slashing damage. Okay. And then its mouth opens up and reveals this array of almost like circular rotating rows of the serrated teeth in its maw as it goes and tries to bite into you and take a chunk out of your flesh. So it'll roll with disadvantage. First one's a 17. Second one's a 17. Oh. Lucky, I guess. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right, DM. All right, you <laughs> no, evil. No, I just rolled you, two evil, you fucking imp. You imp. So that's uh, like a 24 or something to hit. Yeah, that hurt. 14 points of piercing damage as it bites into your and ribs off some flesh and you have this like oh yeah that's gross i'm going to use my uncanny dodge here okay it's only take seven on that one chip i'm unfamiliar with human anatomy did you need that yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah will it 
Grow back! No! <laughs> <laughs> All of you hear a whisper throughout the air. Oh, this fucking guy, man. So fucking sad. And I need everybody. You piece of shit. To roll a wisdom save. Oh, fuck. I don't think anyone gets the plus four from Gillian because of the positions at the moment. Actually, we'll say Queen gets the plus four because that's awesome. My. Thanks, Queen. My question before we all fail this save. Is this charmed, frightened, or possessed? It does not count as a charm. Everyone, let's become goop together. Well, let us goop everyone. Well. I think our destiny is to be goop. I got an 11. <laughs> I got a five. I got a two. I'll use favored by the gods to add another 2d4. I'll use reaction flash of genius on Gillian. You must survive, Gillian. Plus okay. four to yours. Jay, no! <laughs> okay, that brings me up to a- Survive. Are you sure? Okay, that brings me up to a 17, and then plus four is a 21. No! I wanted to be cool with you! Everyone else failed with these low rolls. Jay has a five total. Chip rolled a two. Remember I said we were having fun and everything was going well? Where, where, where did that go? Wrong. All of you hear as it, and as it like just sort of gently enters your brain a magical command word as it whispers through the air. Swim. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> okay, well. Oh, fuck. Gillian, you're, uncom you're, you're un unaffected because of your high save. I'm gonna go take a little, I, I'm feeling a little, little swim, a little, little... I dive in around head the ocean. first, cartoonishly. <laughs> Bro! I'll, I'll also say, Gillian, because this would be a at a higher level spell than protection of good and evil, it would probably trump even if it did. Um, oh. Unless it was specifically mentioned to be a charm, like a charmed condition spell, charmed or frightened condition spell, which it is not. Okay, sure. I have a psychotic idea that might just work, guys. If I create enough water on the deck, you'll think it's a pool <laughs> and, need, and need to swim in that instead. <laughs> I'm a genius. We, we go before you, so. Oh, okay. There's not enough time. Goodbye, everyone. It's been an honor. I can't wait to meet your new characters. One of you can play Gublek. <laughs> Gublek. I call Gublek's brother, Bublek. In a horrific scene from oh Gillian's God. point of view, oh God. Um, Chip and Jay, as your turns come, you feel nothing more than the compulsion to swim as you hear and old man Earl jumps out of a window what the into fuck? the water. Oh, fuck. <laughs> and you hear commotion below the deck. Queen sits there with Chip and Jay. Unless you can uh, uh, explain otherwise. Yeah, I you swim through the air. I'm flying. <laughs> I just start doing a breaststroke. <laughs> What's stopping me? <laughs> it's the act of swimming. I'm in the air. What? <laughs> What's stopping me? What's stopping him? No, she's not. <laughs> swimming is propelling through a body of water. Shit! You have to be immersed in liquid. <laughs> Fuck! Fine, I'm diving in. I do. I do a really graceful, forty foot high dive into the water. <laughs> Awesome. Okay, wait, can you even get to the water? <laughs> no, actually, I have 60 feet of- yeah, I have 60 feet of move speed. Oh, so you do just <laughs> yeah. do a quadruple yeah, so actually, corkscrew fly, straight I into the black- I fly 20 feet up, and then <laughs> I do- <laughs> Oh, it didn't work! Oh, no, there she goes. That's a gainer, that's a triple, that's a quintuple spin. Uh, I do, Holy I do a shit. 1080, a 1080, uh, triple backflip. Perfect. My, my hands touch my feet as I straighten my body and just- not I, uh, splash. A minor illusion Perfect of 10, 10 sign, and then <laughs> grieve my friend, uh, who's dead, I guess. Well, this is taking a turn for the worse, uh, <laughs> very quickly. All it takes is one wisdom saving throw to ruin our party. Good up, good luck up there, Gillian. Thanks, man. We save, we, I, we, uh, How the fuck am I gonna save everyone on the crew from the God, mythical black ocean? <laughs> I don't know. As the two of you plunge in alongside old man Earl, uh, it appears Griffin, under the effects of of these these beetles, um, does not make a move, and Queen saves with the aid of Gillian's proximity. Um, and they go, la, la. oh dear. 
Um, and you plunge in, and there's nothing. You see nothing. The water is ice cold, but it's not a chill, like a winter climate. It feels like the driest ice on your skin that burns. It's pitch black. But you get the sense that something is moving and looming deep below, and you keep swimming, and you keep swimming, and as you are surrounded by whatever this ocean has become, the longer you swim, the more you feel your being whist, your ideals distort. I believe next up is Griffin, underneath the swarm's control. Good. So Queen is in the line of sight. Oh, fuck off. Oh, Gillian shit. Gillian is behind cover. Yeah. Qu- queen. Hey, Queen. Go behind this fucking battle, man. What are you doing out there? Queen. Queen. Hey. Now, Griffin, we are friends. About that big fucking Goliath. So. <laughs> Come on. It's not, it's not, it's not the Goliath. Uh, Creature's turn. No, 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 uh, I know, but what about. Goliath is in line of sight. Oh, in line of sight? Yeah. I guess I can flip a coin. Heads is queen, tails is I just Goliath. like queen, and I don't want him to get eviscerated by our other friend. I don't really want my friends to heads jump in the ocean and kill each other. Is that. I, I mean, heads is queen. Okay, what? land it on heads. I swear to God. Oh. <laughs> I swear to God. That's I can take a screenshot. Right there. No, I believe it. No, take the queen shot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm coping. I'm coping as well. Great <laughs> Griffin is, is slowly walking towards. Checkmate. It's like, I get it, but like, you know, that's our friend. <laughs> like, I can't, <laughs> I'm not going to laugh at that. He rolls, uh, he rolls a natural one, so. <gasps> Does slowly and menacingly walk forward and then goes for, like, almost like an unarmed strike with the the gun weapon and slams right next, like, Queen sort of, like, slumped up against the, the side of the, the ship's railing and then slams next to uh, their head and cracks it, uh, cracks the railing and then begins to slowly load in another special ammunition right next to it without removing it from the railing. Oh God. You mess with the wrong crew. Dude! Griffin, Griffin. Look around, Griffin! Dude, Where's your crew? Bro. Where's your one crew? Day, one day he's gonna, like, take a W. And Griffin! It's gonna be awesome. Griffin, this is the time you've done the most damage ever, Griffin, and it's to us! <laughs> it's to us, Griffin! The small bits and pieces of the swarm that you blew back with your spell. Feels like it's a hundred years ago. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Start crawling towards uh, your your area and Hey. No. They begin to crawl up. Hey. Hey. Are you hey, are you considered a creature? No. I'm considered a force. <laughs> <laughs> protection from good and protection from good and evil uh, means you cannot be charmed? Uh, cannot be charmed, fright, nor possessed. Yes. Okay, so yes. as they are trying to evoke some sort of oh my god, these guys suck. magic, your spell that you've been concentrating on, which I don't know if you had to roll for any damage or anything. I've been rolling. Yeah. Um, does protect you from being dominated, <laughs> essentially. Oh, good. So that'll skip their turn, but they are on your body. Okay. I pull out Destiny's blade. I see the red thread of fate, bro. We gotta cut it. And um, I'm gonna just whack Griffin in the face with it. And just say, get your head in the game, Panda! (laughs) All right. How much damage does he take? That is only a 13 to hit. Oh, that is not usually how high you roll. I don't think that hits Griffin. Sorry, I guess that's the it's okay. Like, it's okay. Trade off for the double natural twenty in the beginning, huh? What happened? <laughs> we were doing so good, and now we, we had the are highest not. high, and now we have the lowest lows. I look over at Queen and I say, "You got this." <laughs> As Griffin is just loading, you like smack him, but he just doesn't, doesn't even react. Contact. Yeah, I think because it's a friend. Perhaps there's just slight hesitation. I don't think that I doesn't do hit enough. Him. Yeah, Queen, you've got the power of music on your side. I'm I'm sure you can say or sing something that'll bring him back. I'll I'll play a spooky tune. 
That's great. That's great, Queen. Our song's not finished. Our song won't end here. And I'm gonna I'm gonna use my movement to go up the crow's nest. So he's gonna get an attack of opportunity on me if he if he t wants it. Um, if anyone wants it, they can fucking do it. Um, I guess the swarm that is attached to you will just try to bite. Okay. Because if you move out of their range, it's not like they're going to stay on you unless they yeah. hit. I honestly thought they would. Um, yeah, it's a, uh, yeah, it's just disadvantage. When you move, you'll shake them off if they don't hit. Okay. Uh, uh, they don't hit. It's like a 17 or an 18. I'm gonna go halfway up the crow's nest until I can see Jay, Chip, and Earl over the side of the boat. I think they're below the surface on this round because they dived in. Oh, well, fuck. Um, you see uh, ripples in the waves and bubbles where they had just plunged in. Is it reasonable to say if that we were that we are swimming, we don't necessarily have to be under the water to swim and most people swim above the water? I'd say Chip, yes. Jay plunged in at 60 foot, so no. <laughs> Earl Cannonball. Yeah. So there. if you really want to see one person, the one that makes the most sense is Chip. So I can't see Earl then. Right. No! The forbidden fruit! It's down here! I know it is! <laughs> so they're all gone. Then I am just going to grab the only one I can see, and I'm going to vortex warp chip back onto the boat. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to hold out a hand um, and say, not yet, friend, and, uh, and close it and open it back up, and the space twists around him in this sort of, like, it's almost like he... Uh, is being swallowed um, by a whirlpool uh, and gets pulled in, probably traumatic, uh, and then is dumped out uh, in sort of a spurt, spurt of seawater um, on on the <laughs> deck uh, of the ship, wherever it's uh, safest. I think I'm just gonna jump back down then and end up next to uh, Griffin. Ship, they got they got Earl and Earl and Jay. Do you think they'll be able to get themselves out of there? Uh, they're just kind of ripples right now in the in the ocean, but um, I'm not. I don't really have a plan. I, th Jay, yes, Earl. I'm. Earl worries me. Yeah. <laughs> that giant monstrosity leaps from the gun deck and is going to slam down now at the top of the round here, if that's the end of your turn. We're, one second, dude, we're talking. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just gonna immediately wreck. <laughs> we gotta take care of the ones that are here first, or it's just gonna happen again. It is a Mark Chip, uh, so it's going to attack him as soon as he's back. I'm giving him a couple seconds, and then I'm going in after him. So, 21 to hit. La, 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 la. La. That's Queen right next to you guys. By the way. You're doing a great La. job, Queen. I think he's snapping out of it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you take 13 points of slashing damage. Okay. And once again, he's going to try Ugh. and almost like he's trying to consume you. Uh, go for a bite. Oh my god, I rolled natural 19 for the first one. Oh. Disadvantage. Rolled an 18 for the second one. Oh my god, he really oh, wants it. Oh god. I mean, can't make this up. So you take nine points of piercing damage from that one. Oh. Okay. <laughs> it is now lumbering right above uh, the two of you looming with just to your left, Queen and Griffin and their own altercation. Am I within five feet of uh, Chip? Was you, yeah, you came down next to me. Okay, if he was next to Griffin, then, then I would be. If you move next to Chip, you're next to this no, no, I, I know, I know, I know. I jumped, I said I jumped down next to Griffin. I was just curious if, if Chip and the monster were, were close by or not. Chip is wherever you vortex warped him, so where would you have done that? Okay. Next to Griffin right. or not? Y yeah, probably just the side of the boat. So yes. Um, I the the only reason I was asking was I just wanted to if I was close to him I wanted to sentinel attack the uh, the the monster. I'm gonna say yes so he can help me wake him up then. Um, and I'm gonna take a sentinel attack on this big monster. That is a 13 <laughs> to hit, bro. Oh, go on. Mm -hmm. oh, go oh, that is actually like just one under what you need for this creature. They are normally. They have the lowest AC, and it's just one under. I tried my best. The ooze of the... That was sort of moving through the crevices of the deck begins to form back up in the center of the main deck of the ship. You see it appear in... Um, not in front of you directly, but you see it sort of form back up on the ship. And then it 
rushes um, to the railing, not directly past you, but like almost like on the other side of Griffin and Queen, jumps off and dives straight into the water. Oh fucking hell! Do was it near where Jay or or uh, or Earl fell? Seems to be where Jay plunged into the. All right, bro. I, I'm going in. <laughs> I'm gonna stab Griffin with the forgetful dagger. Maybe he'll forget he's possessed. Whoa. That is a uh, 27 to hit. That definitely hits. So roll your damage. That's 10 damage, and I'm not gonna do sneak attack on this. I think it'd be very fun if you based it on damage, actually, how much they forget or how long they forget. <laughs> yeah, sure, that's fun. 10 seconds for a 10 damage. Griffin, 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 come back. Griffin, come back. Griffin, Griffin, be cool. Griffin. That's monsters. You don't like monsters, Griffin. There's monsters on your legs, Griffin. You got leg monsters. You got leg bugs, Griffin. We gotta get rid of them. Leg bugs. It's an epidemic, Griffin. Oh, you said it's, you said it's plus four because he's next to you? Yep. Okay, that is why he passes. Oh, without him, he would have failed. Oh, yes, yes. So oh, my the God. eye, almost like the oh. like ink sort of like drains from his eyeballs. It sort of leaks down his, his, his fur. He goes, <sighs> what the fuck? Queen, what are you doing? La, 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 la. Like just looking up <laughs> at Griffin in this like like fear. <laughs> Shit, what happened? Ah, uh, and Griffin has returned to normal. It's the bugs, Griffin. They goop you up and make you see things that aren't there. You've got to get away from them. And that was a 22 for your stealth? Yep. You feel very hidden. Jay, before you take your turn, do for me a charisma saving throw. That's a six. Um, I don't even know if it's worth doing it, but maybe just in case it's a DC 10, uh, I, I'm going to use Flash of Genius as reaction. <laughs> I feel like failing this has got to be so bad, man. That's and so... it's going to be, that's going to be a 10 instead. I don't think I have anything else I can do. Let's roll a D100 real quick. Oh, bro. You are going to forget how to read. You're going to forget how to read again. Oh. A 99. J? You fall unconscious and begin to sink and drown. Mm. Next up is the small swarm that remains. God, I'm so over these bugs. <laughs> so I literally forget about them because they're so insignificant compared to They rejoin else. with the ones that fall off Griffin. I can actually technically communicate simple ideas with beasts that breathe water. Water. So I... You, you guys should go. They don't breathe. <laughs> cool. Well, fuck. I'll roll a 1d4. 4 is none of you. 1 is queen. 2 is griffin. 3 is Gillian. I'm starting to think we shouldn't have even brought our crew, guys. This is like... I, just... I asked them. They wanted to come. A 3 is um Gillian. So, oh. uh, yeah, that's what I said. 1 good for, queen, 2 good for griffin, me. 3. All right, cool. So they'll crawl up and you feel the tiny little bites. Oh, it's a 21. I don't think it hits. No, no, it just misses. So they're not able to pierce through the armor, even though some of them crawl under it. Um, <laughs> God, no. I'm never going to know if there's still one in here. You got through that Jay dove. Yeah, yeah, I saw her vanish. She didn't come back up. And Earl's gone to us. Okay. I'm going to use my action to do 29 points of lay on hands on myself. And I'm going to use helping hands. But that chip also gains 29 points. Does he have to be lying in sight? He's currently hidden with a stealth check of 24. Oh, fuck. You're so right. I'm not going to do that at all then. I am going to bonus action, drop protection from good and evil, and I'm going to cast haste with quicken spell. Whatever bugs are around me have to make a strength save. The bugs rolled a four. Do they get blasted? Yeah. 10 feet, we'll just, knocked prone. They get blasted off the ship, probably, right. unless... They take 7 cold damage, if that helps. Um, okay. If I can, I'll maneuver it, so I blast this uh, guy fighting chip as well. He's chip left. Um, he didn't take an opportunity attack, so if you blast him... Um, it's just within 10 feet, it's not within 5. Yeah. He He's, he's next to you. Oh, okay, so yeah, he just gets blasted by it. So I'm going to take... disadvantage on this, right? Uh, no, he just rolls the strength save. Okay, that is an unnatural 20. He just takes, um, five cold damage. And, um, I look at Chip, and I give him a captain salute. And I say, Kawabunga! And I run towards the edge of the deck, and I dive into the Black Sea! 
after where where Jay went. Can you see through um, the equivalent of magical darkness? No! <laughs> no, I super can't. I just have regular dark vision. So first things first, you hop in. It is immediately pitch black. You have 60 feet of movement speed. In order to see where Jay has sunk so far, you'll have to roll, I guess, perception with disadvantage. It's two fives, so it's six. So on this turn, immediately you don't see her. You're overwhelmed by the sense of dread that enters every orifice as you breathe in this liquid. You're not sure if it's water, but you're sure that it's painful and that it's wrong. Oh. I used Divine Sense earlier. Do I still have a ping on where this fucking guy dived in? Because if I, if I go towards him, maybe he's going towards Jay. You definitely get... A mixture of this fiendish undead smell that is very specific and stronger. It's not the same as everything surrounding you uh, in, the, in the Black Sea. And it is ahead of you, absolutely, swimming towards a direction. I'm going to swim in the same direction it does and see if I can cut it off and maybe hit. I, I, I'm just going to guess it's swimming towards Jay. So I'm going to try and use my use my speed to, to cut it off. You're able to swim um, to catch up. But because you can't see anything, you can only smell that it's essence you get in front of that smell. And I, that's pretty much as much as you can do. I, I, I still have an action left. I'm just going to take the dash action and I'm going to. I'm going to try and like if it's swimming in a straight line, I'm just going to try and swim in that same line in the same direction it was swimming and hold out my arms and just and, and, and try and grab like Jay. And hope that hope that she's uh, basically the same trajectory it's going. I'm going in that same same direction, um, hoping Jay's in that trajectory, uh, and I'm gonna use my action to dash. Roll a d20, and on I'll say because you can't see, and you're guessing based on the direction this creature was moving. Yeah. On a 14 or higher, I'll say you make contact with Jay. Okay. That's a 14. Oh, oh shit! Oh my god! Just barely! Oh my god! Oh my god! Holy shit! So on this turn, your hand touches flesh. Oh! And you assume this can only be Jay. Uh, whatever movement I have left, I'm going up. <laughs> whatever I have left. If you're pulling her back up in the direction, this creature gets an opportunity to attack as you pass. Fine by me. But not on you. Dog! Th why are you a hater? Why is this thing a fucking hater? It's a hater. It's a big hater. It's gonna hate me until the end of my life. It only rolls a 10 to hit. I'm gonna use Sentinel. If it attacks something within five feet of me, I can just use my reaction to attack it. So, if I see that, you know, I I, I feel that tug, uh, and I go, fuck you! Uh, and I'm gonna use Prophetic Screw Up on it. And, uh, pray to God. That's a five. <laughs> I feel like I'm just, like, I'm just... On the craziest, well, I'm on like the fucking euthanasia roller coaster yeah, right now. Yeah, I'm, so on this, I, I'm on the fifth loop. <laughs> I, my, the coral on my head lights up, and the lightning around me expands out into the water, <laughs> sending these things of light so that I can see. And I just catch its dark, sunken eyes, and I raise up my sword, and I say, "Got you now!" And do the worst fumble of all time. Um, which we will now find out, I guess, what that is. Does this mean you also miss the attack on the creature? Yeah, yeah, I miss, I miss. It's just, this is just, I miss and something bad happens as well. You know, this ability rarely pays off. Uh, I actually uh, don't <laughs> think it has ever paid off. I've never seen you really, like... It actually paid off once. It paid off once at the beginning of the campaign against, like, a bug. It's always cool in my head. Fuck me, dude! Are you kidding me? What'd you roll? Tell me it was anything I rolled but a five. five. No! I just put the screenshot Fucking on. I just, I just sent the screenshot. Literally anything but that would have been fine. Oh my god! What is that? Is that the attack a random creature? You want to know what it says? What's it say? On a five, your swing wildly misses the target, and targets an ally instead. Oh. You make oh an god. attack against the random ally with <laughs> five within five feet. Do I still have to roll the attack to hit? I imagine so. You have to roll a seven or less, basically, is what uh what we're getting at here. I think if I hit the AC, that's it. So go ahead and just roll an attack against, okay. against Jay. That's a 25. Yeah, it hits. So you automatically crit on Jay. That means you have to roll damage. It doesn't mean you're making death saves, but it does mean you do a critical amount of damage to Jay. Okay, so that, that other guy would have done crit damage too, right? Had he hit? Yes. 
15 damage. I guess this is better. <laughs> it's it's better than me failing two death saves. With 120 feet of movement, correct? That's how you, what you had this entire time? Yeah. You are able to break the surface at the end of your turn. Oh. After all of that. As long as Prophetic Scrub doesn't stop your movement. Nope. But because the environment is so dark and you see nothing, you just slash wildly, it completely botches yeah. at the worst time. Yeah. They just keep swimming up, breach the surface, um, and hold her head above the water. Hey, at least I'm not dying. <laughs> yeah, at least you're not dying. My question is, do, does me hitting the shit out of her wake her up <laughs> by any chance? <laughs> <laughs> no, it doesn't, actually. All right. That's gonna end my turn. I'm in the goddamn Black Sea. Chip, I got her! You hear nothing. I'm hidden. I'm the shadows. Your crew had a two in initiative total and completely got uh, ruined in the first half. But now that both Queen and Griffin are sane... Maybe he could do 40 damage to someone else? Yes, it's either <laughs> they, do, they do damage or they aid in some sort of uh, uh, debilitating way. Like debuff way. So which, which are... You going? Would you command in this moment? I'm just gonna shout out, "Blow that thing to smithereens!" La 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 la. Bad. I'd like him to do the 40 damage DM. <laughs> I'd like that to happen. That would be super <laughs> hype. Griffin, make sure you use the giant 40 damage flamethrower. The what? What he do doesn't you mean? Remember. The what? Oh my! How did you forget? How does no, he? So he forgot he. I don't know. I, you know what? Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. You forgot he had. I. 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 I don't even know with this guy. Ah, oh, fuck! Did I use that ammunition? Pro how many did you have of that? Probably one. Probably one of those. Probably one. Yeah, I would guess. Just, just one. Just one. Would have been helpful against Kira or the Navy or the other Navy and that. We need to have like a team meeting after this. <laughs> we, have, we gotta talk to this fucking guy. Why can't he do it to us? Bro, maxed out his skill tree just to kick the shit out of me. <laughs> the width of the ship is about twenty feet. So when he does, he's gonna. All right, you want me to use this one? Uh, he's gonna uh, shoot out another one of his his custom ammunition. However, um, it will affect everyone on the main deck if he's targeting the giant guy because it's an AOE spell or it's like an AOE bullet. Oh, does that make sense? Well, maybe we don't blow up Queen in that <laughs> in that case. Yeah, I, I yeah. Let's let do whatever doesn't blow everyone up. What if it's like just in the circle where it just kind of hits that guy? Yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> you know, like you know what I mean? Yeah, you're in the ta like the tactical game, the battle happened. Yeah, like, just and then I the can edge. move it around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you just get a right there. <laughs> <laughs> These are very specific commands. So you know what? I'll allow. Griffin rushes up. He kind of jumps onto like the shoulders and plants his his uh, big cannon arm onto the chest of this the demonic uh, uh, Goliath and it blows back what seems like wind through the body of this creature and back, and it kind of like almost bursts uh, with both mixture of wind and lightning bursts onto the, 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 the parts of the ship and damages it slightly, but it does the most damage to, uh, if it, to the creature if it fails to save, which it does. Uh, it takes 30 points of lightning damage and is knocked prone. Woo! Ooh, yeah, Alphonse! Not Top Alphonse, Griffin! Nice Top job! Is the Goliath uh, demon, uh, which I guess has to use all of its movement or half its movement to not be wrong. Because it has uh, Chip marked for death, essentially. It's constantly seeking him out. It has a plus two in perception. It has advantage because of the mark. At first, it rolled a two, and then I rolled a natural 20, which makes it 22. Your stealth check was 22. It seeks you out. That's what it would have needed. Sort of reverses the order and first goes to chomp at, uh, at your at your figure, and it does. I don't. I don't think it hits. But let me just double check. Fourteen to hit. Nope. Okay. So fourteen does not hit, and because you sort of uh, maneuver yourself out of the way, it gets even more pissed off, <laughs> and then goes for that that big slam. That's sixteen to hit. That'll hit. That's 13 points of slashing. All right. I'm going to uncanny dodge it. Yeah. Lumbering over you. I'm low. Gillian, you're holding on to Jay. Yep. I'm just getting her head out of the water. And I'm um, going to be climbing up that boat as soon as I can. The sailor demon. You don't see it. No. no I but don't. you immediately feel a tug from beneath the waters. Okay. Yeah, that's fair. As if it's trying to pull Jay under. So go ahead and roll contested strength. Oh, this absolute motherfucker. 
You have to beat a 22. Uh, a 20? I rolled strength for it. I rolled an 18 plus four. I gotta roll an 18 or higher. I rolled a 16. I'm gonna use um, magical guidance to re-roll. I only get one re-roll. That's 11, so no. So, out of your grasp, you feel Jake get tugged away. Okay, so there's one thing I'd like to to know is in my moments in the water down there, uh, I was holding the black blade, which does um, it casts all that light, but it also gives me sixty feet of dark vision. Was I able to see down there? Yeah, you can you can only see as much as the light illuminated around you, and even then. It was more like you could see everything in front of you, like your 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 body and stuff, because of the illuminate the light of the. I don't know if the the flames get put out because of water, do they? Fire does half damage underwater, but I don't know if the flames would go out. Well, we can just say that they're weaker underwater, because that'd be silly if they went out. Your dark vision doesn't pierce through the darkness of the black. Okay, so you okay. Know. I'm just gonna stab this guy who's been fucking with me, and then I'm gonna run and hide again. It's 23 to hit. That most definitely hits. All right, that's. 34 total, but whatever of that. How do you end this one? What? Oh I cut off its God. fucking yeah. head! <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> it has taken a ton of damage from everyone and your crew. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while. It's all right. It's all right. And this burst of speed goes straight for the jugular and sever its head straight off from its, its shoulders. And like before, the black ichor that was surrounding its corpse. You can see whenever it dissipates after you cut off the head and it falls to the deck like in, in sizzles, uh, just bones sort of fall down from some humanoid creature and then dissolve into dust. Oh my god. Would you let me, as a bonus action, go over to Gillian and say, you gotta go and get her. And take a grappling hook and hook it onto his armor. He's in the water, so I thought it was. I thought he got out of the water. Hook. No, I, I I haven't even gotten out, dude. And she got pulled back down. Jesus Christ! Um, maybe I could drop, like, just drop the hook down to him. Then you could drop a hook down. I, I it's up to Gillian on if it's going to help him or not. Got incredible speed, but like in case I don't get out, I I, I think this is this is like a lifeline. Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll I mean I'll let it. I'll just have it like. It'll just hook onto the back of my armor if that's okay. Like a bonus action, you can throw a lifeline. Yeah, sure. Okay, I do that. But as you do, you feel your vision pulled back, and you open your eyes in a different POV. You feel much lighter, and you're you have something on your shoulder, so you feel a weight. And you look and you see it's like legs of this. Um, uh, of a mini human, a little, a little person, <laughs> and um, you know this to be your daughter, and you gently let them down, and they rush up to a stand or a cart that has a, a variety of fruit in this humble village, walking down a dirt path surrounded by lush fields and the like, and in the very distance, there's semblance of this gigantic-looking tree. You feel at peace as she runs up, grabs fruit, runs back, says, Look, 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 I, I, a mango, a mango! And as you're both looking at this fruit that she picked, specks of black start to fall from the sky, like black snow. And then phew, your vision is pulled back to reality. Okay. Next up is Jay. Wake up! <laughs> you, at this point, can roll another charisma saving throw. Oh. Let's find out. Nine. I'm fucked. I'm fucked as hell. All, all that happens, unfortunately, is that you stay unconscious. Okay. But because you were brought up from the surface of the water, essentially you're not suffering from drowning on this round. Not yet. Well, that's good, guys, <laughs> right? <laughs> Delaying the inevitable. Next up is Gillian. Uh, object interaction, I guess I'll hook that thing on back. Just shout up to Chip. 10 seconds, Chip. If I'm not back, pull up. 
And, um... I... look down at the inky blackness and look at Destiny's Blade and say, With this I will take your life and your burden. And, uh... Then Destiny's Blade lights up um, with my bonus action. Hopefully, I can see. <laughs> it's... <laughs> It's watery moonlight uh, in a 20-foot radius and dim light for an additional 20 feet. Yeah, that is magical light. Yes. Can I see Be them? You dive back under? I'm going back under, dude. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead and at the beginning, uh, just roll a charisma save. Okay. 19. You can see them swimming. The creature is pulling Jay deeper and deeper. Yeah. I just go... Swim as fast as I can this lightning trailing around me and I'm just gonna try and fucking destroy this thing as fast as possible because I, I Don't know if I'm gonna win another, you know, another contest of strength Um, so I take this fucking sword, uh, and I'm gonna cleave into it The first attack is a natural one What happened to us? The second attack is a 25 and the third attack from haste is a 28. The last two hit. I really need to kill this thing, so I'm gonna smite it as hard as I can on both. The first attack is gonna do 39 damage. Is it still looking good? Nothing about it looks good. <laughs> yeah, no, it, yeah. it doesn't. Uh, can't tell if you look more fucked up than you did a second ago. Give me back, Jack! <laughs> <laughs> It takes another 41 damage of Radiant. I'm gonna end within five feet of it. That's the last thing I can do is I'm just gonna swim up to it. She will not share your fate, Gunko. Here's what I'm saying. It definitely can't keep a hold on Jay as you effectively cut off its limbs. Okay, good. And your two swipes. Okay. But although it's snapping, yeah. It is holding on to its unlife. Huh. Just barely. I don't suppose if it let go of Jay, I can, uh, yoink and doink? I can, uh, uh, uh. I'd say you can make it back to the surface, yeah. Just back to the surface? <laughs> it still has to re. I can still take an opportunity to attack with its mouth. Oh, this motherfucker! I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab Jay, I'm gonna swim away, uh, and I'm gonna tug on the rope. Is this bitch gonna bite her ang fucking ankles? My inkies. Yeah, it's, it's, it's about four points of piercing damage, Jay. It's I hate crazy. this thing. I'm gonna use my reaction to sentinel it. I want it to die. I want it to die. I want it to die. That is another, that is a natural one. What is wrong with what this What the world? fuck, dude? <laughs> What's wrong with me? Ah! Ah! You miss and head back to the surface, and Chip helps pull you up. At the end of the round here would be your crew. Of Griffin and Queen, what would you like them to do? Griffin and Queen are back. Um, damage or support? I mean, there's nothing really for them to damage that they can see. I hand the rope to Griffin and I say, pull. And I go over to Queen and I go, Heelys. <laughs> and I open my arms and I give Queen a hug and I get health from it. Oh, yeah, I can't remember the last time that I've had a hug. I'd like to roll an inside check. <laughs> no, not right now, man. <laughs> this feels strangely appropriate for the situation, Law. Is that a zero? I got a zero on inside. <laughs> I, that, that, like, I thought I was... You, I, how, but you, but you're so, but... For a moment, it's warm and tender, and I'm like, I don't want to die, queen. I rolled so many ones, I mean... Hey, check this out, check this out. This is my new thing that will never come in to play again. But I can spend one sorcery point, and he can re-roll any number of his healing dice once. How cool is that, guys? How cool is that? <laughs> pretty pretty well, cool okay. thing. You regain 16 points of health back. Oh, sweet. You'd all know that this demonic creature would make a move, but doesn't seem like they do at the moment. The one under the water. Okay, okay, okay. Griffin's been helping pull. I mean, you are getting pulled towards the, the ship. It is Chip and Jay's turn. Jay, you can roll another Christmas egg. Let's find out. Plus four. And then, nope. For the love of God. <laughs> Nine. What the fuck? Dude, Gunny, yeah. Gun you haven't been able to do anything, have you? Dude, yeah. J rolling charisma saves so low, she failed the personality <laughs> test. I, uh, yeah, no, I, I shot Griffin and Queen once and then. Chip, what do you do? I am going to 
ready a firebolt for anything that pops out of the water that's yucky. Chip, I'm about to get yucky. Not Jay or Gillian. I, uh, I turn to Chip, my eyes uh, deep set and full of horrors, and say, Cowabunga 2. And I <laughs> run to the other edge of the deck where Earl fell. And I'm, I gotta send it, dog. I gotta send it. I have light this time with Destiny's Blade. I've got hopes and dreams. So does he. So much juice remains on squeeze. Okay. And I dive in. I fucking dive in. It's all just one big juice, Earl. Oh, we're gonna get you out of here. I dive in. I'd like to keep the rope on me just in case things all go wrong. And Destiny's Blade is still illuminated? Yep, yep, yep. yep. Still lit. All right, still you can lit. roll perception without disadvantage as soon as you dive in. Oh, thanks, man. 16. As soon as you dive in, with the light, with your perception, you see, like, not towards you, but off to the side, looks to be a little halfling old man, sort of trying to sw swim to the top, holding his mouth to keep from from uh, losing his breath. Yeah. But he, he is, like, almost like the density or, or the current that is, it feels like it's pushing him down. He's, like, fighting against it. He's trying to get to the top, but something almost unnatural is keeping him yes. in the same spot as he's trying to swim but you uh, see him okay cool i about I, I look 30 ish out. feet to the right great i look out towards or, him right away yeah, um, something like that i've still got a bonus action uh i've still got haste i'm i'm just gonna swim out there with my uh with my with my 60 feet of movement and and grab him and try and pull him back it's all right earl just hold that in we're almost out of here how much movement did you say you have um I, I will use as much as this takes I have an initial. So I have an initial sixty feet. I have a dash action to make it one hundred twenty okay, feet, okay, okay, and okay. I have an extra action to make it one hundred and eighty feet. You can definitely get him out of the, the water with all that. Oh I'm pretty sure. God! I get him the fuck out of the water. You break the surface, and as soon as you do, <gasps> there you go. Earl. There you go. <laughs> Fuck me. You're okay. You're fuck. okay. Oh, fuck. Um, and that is your turn. Yeah. Um, yep. Uh, I'm, I'm going to get on the fucking side of the boat. I'm going to get off the boat. I'm going to get on the boat. I'm going to put myself around Earl so he cannot <laughs> go swimming. I'm going to say, I'm going to say, here you I'm going to give him a little life vest. I'm going to give okay. him a PFD. Okay. We should get everyone yeah. PFDs. We're buying <laughs> PFDs. Um, and I end my turn. For now, we'll exit turn order. Is Jay still asleep? Yeah. Yeah, I'll wake up Jay. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna rush over to Jay as well and, and try and wake her up. We've gotta be ready for it to come back, Chip. And whatever else it's gonna bring. Parts of your crew get like uh bought uh water in a barrel or a bale from the, the, the kitchen part of the crew's orders and help splash it on her face. You guys are trying to shake. Jay, you can roll at this point now another charisma. Surely this one. Uh another four thirteen. <laughs> A few minutes begin to pass as Jay is unconscious. Breathing, but not unconscious. Gil, did you see where that thing went? It's it's too dark down there, even even with this, even with Destiny's Blade, it's I mean it doesn't have limbs anymore, so maybe it's just slowly worming down. But I wouldn't count it out. Not yet. Alright, we'll just be ready for it. I am going to stand up away from Jay then. How does she look? Does she look injured or, or like... I don't think she got hit at all. I got hit like twice. By Gillian, so she has the, I mean... Um, no, yeah, the Colossus she, she hit me once wounds. too when I was in the air. The big guy. How, how's Chip looking? If I'm, I'm, I'm normally like at full, Yeah. imagine like a third of that. Okay, so... I'll give Chip 15 points of lay on hands, so 15 HP, and I will go to the edge of the ship and take the nastiest, stinkiest divine sense whiff and see if I can get a sense if this thing is still following us or, or, or lurking here. Like I said, this scent, overwhelming yep. and awful. You're not getting a specific ping of that fiend. Okay. Not from above am I, the water. Am I, am I getting the ping of any uh, other fiends? The water is fiends. The water is a fiend. The water is a fiend. The water is a fiend. You sense almost like a seedling 
of the scent. Oh no. Emanating from oh, Jay oh, fuck. and Earl. Yeah. As he's currently like uncontrollably laughing. Oh, he's laughing. He's back in laughing lot. Make it fucking <laughs> stop, motherfucker! <laughs> get, get, mother. <laughs> so he's like slams his head on the <laughs> yeah, railing. Yeah, yeah, Not yeah, again! It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Um, I'm gonna walk over to him. Uh, I don't suppose it seems like a disease or poison, does it? No. Then would a lesser restoration spell do any good here? You can certainly try. Yeah, I, I will try. I will try on, on, on Earl to make it stop. Um, <laughs> use lesser restoration. So fucking low on spells loss. Um, on, on him as the sort of warm blue light uh, emanates from my hands as I touch him. It's going to be okay. <laughs> oh, the relief. Oh, yeah, baby. You're here, Earl. Oh. You're all right. This place fucking sucks! This place fucking sucks. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> but I'll tell you what. If there was ever a secret fruit no one's ever discovered, Earl, it would oh be- Oh my god, it's definitely it would be, here. It would definitely be here. <laughs> it's all worth it if we find that, baby. Maybe, Ooh. yeah. Um, Appreciate that, fish man. Uh, just briefly take my hands off to see if it just immediately ends, or like, if it's okay. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, <laughs> god, oh my god. All right. No. Just fucking with you. Earl, Earl, we're done laughing. No more trolling. No more bits. I'm going to go check in on on Jay. Um Chip, I uh, I'll, I'll I'll make sure Jay's okay. Can you figure out a way to get us out of here, maybe moving so that we're less of an easy target. Uh, Chip would just be like looking out onto the water looking for this thing a uh, hot mode on the hands ready to yeah. fucking yeah. do it. Uh yeah. Yeah, hey, do we have any oars below deck? I think we're going to uh, need them. Do we? You run below deck, and uh, you notice that next to your tub, uh, Dre has kind of had Finn in this like, uh, almost like like lock, leg lock. Oh. And he goes, Ugh. "Hey, Ev poor bastard, tried to run, run for it, just suddenly, but I got him." Oh, thanks, Dre. Probably this. We've been chilling down here. Is everything all good up top? Yeah, it looks like you're chilling. Um. More or less. Are there any oars down here? Smashes a beetle <laughs> like an insect. <laughs> ah. <laughs> okay, uh, maybe just yeah. Don't let no no more of those, please. Um, Hate bugs. Me too. <laughs> um, you you said it, Grumpy Pa. Are there any oars down here, Dre, or, or anything we can use to move to be less of an easy target? I think we got uh like four giant ones and ends are left. That's gonna have to work. Um, so you get out some like almost like huge paddles that you can affix to the sides of the ship. Yeah. Takes four people to man it, okay, and uh, two on each side. And uh, if if there's multiple people on each oar, they can move it faster. All right, um, let's oar it up. So Jay is is not waking up. Um, you didn't use less restoration on her, did you? Not, not yet. But if she's still not waking up, I will go over and do that. Yeah. After like five minutes, you notice she's not waking up on her own. Okay, I, I'm, I'm just putting my hands on, on Jay, and that sort of blue light spreads through her like a sort of current. Um, you know, you, you kind of see it under her skin, and then it vanishes. I think she'll be okay. I, I got the oars, Enzo left. We should probably start paddling. <sighs> All right. You are. Immediately woken up, Jay, as you're saved from this pit of endless darkness. What the fuck? Hey, Jay. You okay? Are they gone, or did we, did we get them? Um, yeah. <laughs> like they got us, and we got some of them? We got most, most of them. They got you bad. They almost got me. They almost got Chip. They got Earl. We have got Earl. Let's get the oars. What the fuck? <laughs> hey, do we want to... Stay here and regroup, or... I don't know what these things are, but if they can communicate, they all know we're here now. So we need to go somewhere less black... Uh, it's all... Mm, okay. All uh, Black Sea. All I, Black Sea. I don't think anywhere we can go will be less. Does the map have any, like, islands on it or, or anything like that? It does. Okay. What's the closest island that it looks like? Is there like a close landmass to us? Here's the thing. 
The map doesn't show where you are currently or anything like that. Now, what if? Jay can read a map and figure out where we are, surely. What if Jay reads this map? <laughs> <laughs> you sort of teleported, you know, through a portal at, an, like, a random location in the Black Sea, and when reading a map, I'm pretty sure you have to know where you are from start to finish. <laughs> well, it depends on if there's any landmarks nearby. There's the sun. Here's a compass. This is the sea. It's black. Here's the map. You got this. I lost my gun. I forgot about that. That sucks. Ah, shit. Jay, usually I'd offer to go and get it for you, but, um... It's kind of fucked down there. I'll do it if you want. I'll do it if no, you dare me. don't do that. It's... Do it if you dare me, though. I, I, I can figure something else out. You sure? Yeah. It's just a gun go stolen from Navy base. Whatever. I have a longbow still. Uh, I'd probably just, like, go down... Grab it from like the storage area. Yeah, probably don't have it on my we're, person right now. We're fantasy now. Um, yeah Okay, more guns. well, um Any idea um, where to I saw some branches over there, but other than that, I don't know branches is good branches is very very good because I Don't really understand the world tree that much or get what trees are like big wood kelp, but It's here and that thing I killed came here to save it. So if that's branches, maybe that's Wait, how exactly do you know where that? we need to go. Well, I killed it, and then I knew. And now I need to do that. Oh, because I... When I killed that one back there, it... I saw something. Like I was... Like I was them, and... I think these are all the people before us. These are the pirates. These are the people that failed. And I think whatever their reason for coming here, we've set them free of it now. Jay, you're looking at the map. Mm -hmm. The map has three islands that have three landmarks on them. In the center of where these islands would intersect, travel route-wise, is where the map is leading you to or once you to go and chip has to point all this out by the way because he's the only one that can read the like glyphs and stuff on the map but there is a vague symbol of a tree on the largest island on this map it's a island that sort of resembles a broken heart loosely as you're looking at the map with your incredible passive perception. <laughs> Start to notice something coming from underneath the boards of the main deck, like the floorboards, that black acre. And it starts to rapidly form itself Watch and it's going to leap toward <laughs> leap towards leap towards you. What do you what do you do? Um it goes and it's just a head. It only rolls a 14 to hit. So what do you do in return? Jay's going to reach into her pouch and pull out the black sand that hasn't come up in a while because it's fun. Uh, she's going to cast Scorching Ray with it and basically like kind of throw it and do a little like snap and <laughs> have it catch a fire and do uh, it's a 13 to hit and a 24 to hit. Yeah, it it, it does. Okay. Um, <laughs> how do you want to eviscerate the, the head of this? <laughs> yeah, uh, I mean, it just explodes. It just explodes. <laughs> <laughs> just sort of immediately uh, like like uh, like confetti but it's like black ooze pops and then uh, in that instance at first it was just this immediate you know kind of like a jump scare of chaos and then it subsides <sighs> oh wait no I killed it that means I'm gonna get out <laughs> <laughs> uh, you feel your vision pulled back kind of holding your wrist palm facing you kind of inspecting the tattoos on the back of your forearm or the, the underside of your forearm and you look past it and you're seeing a map of the Eastern Sea. You slowly turn your hand around and put it on the table to put it on the map to mark a destination. And you see it, an all too familiar tattoo on the top of the hand, a crescent moon with the NK initials. From your own voice you hear, Oh, we have to do find the Dread Queen's corpse, boy. Then we'll find her lair, her treasure, and then you will become a new lord. 
and then you look up and you see someone that is very similar to your age. They nod at first, back at you, and then they begin to choke on air, and then they start clawing at their throat and they're lifting up almost as something that you can't see as they're strangling them and then this black ichor falls from their eyes and their mouth. And then your vision gets pulled back to reality. You feel... You know this is the last memory that they thought of. And then the desire gets passed on to you. Find the Dread Queen's corpse. Wow, um... It almost makes you feel bad, right? I mean... Um... So many people were affected by what happened here. All we can do right now is focus on getting ourselves out of here. Keeping our crew safe. Yeah. That makes sense. Getting what we came for. Um, I think for now, those branches you saw, that's probably our best lead. Maybe they're attached to this island, the one with the tree on it. Hey, it's worth a shot. Yeah. Uh, Chip will go grab an oar, and I'll start rowing. I'll grab an oar, too, and also start rowing. Uh, I'll grab an oar, and also start rowing. Okay, row time. We begin moving towards the branches. I would like to go to Earl and say, Earl, can you make us some juice that, like, helps? <laughs> <laughs> Good idea, Chip. Earl. Make us some juice that helps, please. Oh, I would love some juice that helps. He's like, he's opening his mouth as he's about to, like, fucking chew your ass out. And then he, like, just squints at you. <sighs> like with the rowing. No. Not that. Oh. What do you mean, then? I feel like you just underhandedly called me useless. But yeah, I'll make you some juice. <laughs> Bitch. Okay, well, now he's gonna poison you, Chip. No, I was more like asking for like health stuff, like health potions, but you know. I hope you're like building immunity to poison, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> oh, Earl. Oh, oh, Earl. Earl. Oh, Earl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he can move something up. I'd like to have Griffin manning cannons and readying to fire at anything dangerous. Sure. Um. Oh, and uh, I'll never let that happen again. Just not your fault. Black beetles in the city, you know. Just stay within ten feet of Gillian at all times. You were pointing out this um this island. We're heading towards that uh, tree. Yeah. This should be Onoa country. My home was not too far. You're almost here? Well, yes, yeah, my village. Huh. Do you want to stop by? If the, uh, monsters. We just dealt with. You're saying they were people at one point. Then there's probably nothing left of my home. We weren't warriors by nature. And it was destroyed a long time ago. By that bastard. So. Well. If you want to head there at any point, just let us know. I doubt we'll be in the neighborhood again anytime after this. Um. Let's see what's happening in the capital. Sounds good. And he'll man the cannons. Um. La, could I, um. Have another hug, La. <laughs> um. That was more like a heat of the battle thing. How about you? Oh. How about you go ask right, Jay? Right. No, it, it it's quite all right. 
<laughs> well, don't make it sad. It's like hugs uh, mean more when you don't do it all the time. La 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 la. No, Queen, I'll give you the hug. La la la. I'll return to my duty and play a tune. Uh, no, uh, for the journey ahead. La, okay. La, la, I mean, la, I, I, I love hugs literally any time. I walk over to Queen and I hug him real quick and then I go back to what I was doing. <laughs> Jay, can you just fly up really quick and see what you can see? I can only do it one more time today, but if you feel like this is the best use, I'm... I could also try and throw you up really high. Let's try that first. <laughs> okay, I'll go up to the crow's nest and try and throw Jay up really high. Okay, tell me what you see. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh, misjudge. There she goes into the... Uh, uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I mean, it's not like you can throw her like that high, but you throw her high. Come on. Come on. With her plus four strength. Come on. I'd probably start flying in midair and just see what I can see <laughs> after he throws me. <laughs> Once I start plummeting. Okay, you're all perception. Wow, I'm just rolling under 10 consistently today. Uh, 13. You see more of what looks like a, 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 a parts of a fairly large tree branch. And it's black. It has some pink petals, but they disconnect, float through the wind, and then they crumble. You see this through the spyglass. It's clearly no longer a tree that it once was. And you swear there's other vague outlines of things crawling around the branch. But you can't make it out. And that's what you get. I'd fly back down, or I'd like slowly descend. Yeah, um, that tree's fucked. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so should we still be heading towards it? I think right now, yes. But we need to get some rest before we go there. We we can't survive another encounter like that. Here's your juice. Let's take a short fucking rest. On the on the way there. Woo! <laughs> All right. Bottoms Yippee. up. We take a short rest. We have a party. Yay! Juice party! Yay! We have a juice party on the black scene. It's awesome. We turn on the RGBs and have them like pulse and shit. <laughs> and then you die. You attract the horde. I put it's <laughs> called shell in a red solo cup so it plays louder. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, 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 on. no. Oh yeah, baby. This is what it's all about. Well, what do, what do you actually do? Are you actually guys? Are, are you resting or rowing? I don't. You can't do both. No, I'd like to short rest. I'd like to take a short rest. Yeah, we've 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 rowed a little bit. Why don't we Why don't we see if we can kind of drift and take a short rest before we go into this? In case it's in case it's bad. In case that it's is worse. what I was concerned about. We'll say for the rest of the day, the juice get the juice gives you advantage on both strength checks and any abilities or skills that involve strength and uh, strength saving throws. It's made with. Um, uh, coconut. What the fuck? Oh, it's made out of the coconut hair. So anything in anything involving strength, you get advantage on it for the rest of the day by drinking this juice it's, that has hate it, hate it. crushed up particles of a coconut. No, it's pulpy. Why is this coconut juice pulpy, Earl? Earl? You see, the coconut shell is like a turtle shell. It's hard to break open, and when you drink it, you'll be hard too. I'm always hard, Earl. What? I I push ship I push ship into the ocean. <laughs> yeah, will you push me too? <laughs> uh, let's we'll we'll get into that later. But if we if we start to get the sense during the short rest that like it's a really bad idea and there's like murky shit coming towards us, uh, I'm good to go to land and rest there instead. <laughs> if you're trying to short rest while on the ocean, you would absolutely get the vibe that there are things that will target you again. As soon okay, as you stop. let's not, uh, let's, let's actually not short rest here. What if we, uh, went to the, uh, that, that funny tree and then short rested in that funny tree? I think that's a good idea. So the goal would be to continue on until you reach land and then short rest as soon as you do? Yeah, once we find shelter or safety, yes. Yeah, I think that the ocean is the bad and we want to get out. We keep rowing, right? Yeah. We keep rowing. We row off into the distance. You begin heading towards land? And that's where we're going to end the session.
Roll, roll, roll your boat gently down the stream. We kind of won. Barely, merrily, 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 life merrily was but a dream. Why don't I feel like we won? It was nightmarish because that was our. Because it, it like, hurt it bad. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be it was like so real with you. It, like that was like that was like the level one slime of the Black Sea, you know. And <laughs> <laughs> that was just, I feel like the 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 weakest and tamest they get. Like three random goons. You just listen to Just Roll with It, the show, the podcast, the experience. This would not be possible without the continued support of our beloved patrons over at patreoncom slash it. We just got done. Recording about 10 days straight in a in a red room I have in my house. It was just red lights and I, I projected bats with this Party City projector I bought. And it, we were in there for 10 days straight and it's it's called The Suckening and it's only coming out because we reached a Patreon goal and I'm so proud of it. And it's going to be the sickest campaign by far I've ever DM'd when it's all put together. Anyway, it was absolutely incredible. So, if you like... Um, hearing our stuff, if you want to hear more of our stuff, and if you want to see us really spread our wings and fly out of the nest and soar, sometimes straight into the ground, but eventually over, over like a cliff and sort of just up across the horizon, um, please go check us out on Patreon. Uh, we've got a lot of great Patreon goals over there, and all of these incredible projects and the fact that they were here and we were all recording and I was writing for 20 hours a day is only possible because of you guys. Um, so thank you for... Um, thank you for making this our lives. I'm gonna thank all the high rollers now. Mr. Anderson 1078, Me Phobia Man, Aaron Moment, Mr. Magic Fingers, Water Lenny, Alistair Susie, Broderick Motif, Final Fan, shit, it's the last one, we're done. Failohash, Certified Cringe Fail Loser Boy, Harry Bow, Alderic, EMT3, Erica Moon, Kojo Wo, It's Safe Anna, A Pirate with Gout, sorry, Mr. C, Skeleton Aficionado, Nova Sink, Hababa Gababa Ba. Hab. What? Haba. Hababa Gagaba. Hababa Gababa. Teeny Ghosts, Willistrator, It's Kerferthrish. You guys don't make this easy. Me Forever, mate. Sarazaku, Charlie Darling Songbird, Oimbi, Bazozo, Ikufu. These are just magic words. These aren't. These aren't people. Caddis Badis. That's a, that's a spell. Titan Storm. That's a spell. Luke Ranbu, Lemon Leviathan. That's a summon. Unstable Chaotic Cracker. Mike Rouch, Hollow Headed, a Moon Beast Fan. Aren't we all? Trite Metal, Daxi Boy. Vapor, call in the bard. I'm butt flusting. Agar Steeljaw, beans. Pupper in a spacesuit. Jades two six zero four. Joey Madness. Pippin the Alchemist. Sweet Cacti. Baka seven. Cal's the folded pizza zone. The awesome man. Chilean vibe Strider. Yeah. Man made imp. Jordan darling. I am in your walls. <laughs> Mr. Nacho, Wild James, Kev Senpai, Bisley's Burger, Mitchell Iverson, Mithril Gear 417, Boss Goat, Captain Lafayette, and Crew, Narwhal Shellfish, Riker Tamsin, Crobins, Mushi is Vibin, Deathclaw, Sandy 007, Blue Blend Blop, Big Blue Bear Boy, Zerberus, Elvish Cyborg, Lord Ticklefish, Spin Yaks, Buttery Toast, Luckiest Valentine, Silvasol, Jason the Fricker, Unio Lune, Gillian's Biggest Fan, Cornier Comet, Sorcerer Punk, Riker Kurotu, Non X Lodal, Funny Hats Incorporated, JRWI Enjoyer, and of course, Jay Newell. Thank you all so much for listening to the show, and we will, of course, see you. On the next episode of Test Roll with it! Yeah.